More highlights this time with Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, 10 and 1 at home and 7 and 3 in their last oh. 10. Oh. But they haven't lost to the Rockets in a while, and he'd make sure that didn't happen oh. yet again. Oh, that's that's a bad man. Well, he takes advantage of all your mistakes. Ooh, great pass off. Awesome. Look at that no look. Take it to the deep end, gave him a light grab at the rim. <laughs> How about Andrew Wiggins? So talented. He's just so unassuming. He just goes about his business, doesn't say much, just lets his game do the talk. Right, and then gives you 30, yeah. right? <laughs> no, he's not. Oh! oh! With the slam oh, no. from the hey, outlet. Tap your head. The Warriors would lead the way 68 to 52 at the half. Here's KPJ, Kevin Porter Jr. with the crossover and the up Ooh. and under oh, hit 20 points. Yeah, everybody went all up in his bag. Man, everybody, everybody reaching for that one. But more Curry here on the Rockets turnover, the spin, the lay in, and the foul. What did you say about in the paint? What's he doing this year? He's shooting over 70%, like 76, I think. Man. More Wiggins. Unreal. Wiggy Wig just getting it done. Don't go under. Oh my You're gonna on, you gonna go you under. You're gonna switch. You're gonna After switch play, and you double go under. Timeout. I wasn't exaggerating. The, on, the one guy in the entire league that you don't go under. Yeah. Under any situation. Wiggins did finish with 36 on Ooh. 14 of 19 from the field. But Steph Ooh. had a cool 30, also dished 10 assists because why not? The Warriors now have won an 11th home game in a row. That's the longest such streak in exactly one year. It came to a close on December 3rd of last year. But 3D. They shot 48% from three. They knocked down 25 of their 52 attempts. It was the 15th time this season that they've dished at least 30 assists as a team. That's a whole lot of numbers, but I mm. want you to show me exactly what led to these looks. Those numbers sound good because it's 34 assists. When the Warriors in their heyday winning championships, anytime they got around 28, 30 assists, they normally won the ball game. Mm -hmm. Big time defensive play by Draymond at the rim. Now let's get out and run. Let's share the basketball. Wiggs like, I'm playing with Stephen Clay and Draymond. I don't need to be the number one guy. I just need to be the guy that's being aggressive. Where did he go from one corner to the next corner? Leave it, you're knocking it down. DiVincenzo smart. I know I'm on a new team. I know where the champ is. I know where the best player is on the floor. I'm going to wait, be patient, give it to him again. Three ball, corner pocket, knock it down. Ball movement, player movement. We're out in transition. That's your point four man. And yes, he knows where to go. You say to yourself, pool party, are we going to be greedy? No, I'm going to share. Sharing <laughs> is caring because when I'm open, they give me the ball. But when in doubt, GA, you get in the fourth quarter, you understand patience, share the ball, and another three to your point, Kristen. This team understands the offensive end. We got to share the ball. Hopefully, on the other end of the floor, help the helper and then get out and run and get easy buckets. And it's a seven game Saturday, so our highlights continue after the break. Anthony's 23 in the first quarter. He had 33 in the first half. He became the first Blazer to ever score that many in a first half. And he finished with 45 on 60% shooting. How stunning was this performance? It, it was incredible. And, and what we're also, I hope everybody's starting to appreciate is how good this Blazers team is. Because we didn't mention this, but, you know, Jeremy Grant had 33. Right. And, and it didn't even. <laughs> no, we, but, but it speaks overall to how good this team is. And I remember being out during training camp talking with Chauncey and, and also mainly with, with Dame and, and Anthony, and, and they were excited, and they thought they would be a good. They felt like they were a playoff team. I had my doubts. Right. But I don't think there's any doubt. Like, this team really is that good. When you can go and win games on the road against good teams mm -hmm. without your best player, that tells you you're good. And that's what this Blazers team is. They are for real. For me, it's like another team where you got the wrong right guys, right? Justice Winslow, we kind of forgot about him a little bit. Jeremy Grant, believing himself from Denver to Detroit, now he's playing well. And Chauncey's a new coach, speaking the right way, and the guys are buying into it. And last but not least, Anthony got paid, and he's playing like it. Yeah. That he is. I mean. Hey, I miss you, little bro. I miss you too, man. Yeah, man. Maybe we can make a trade. Yeah, man. Take care of your family. <laughs>
But take this butt with the home. Yeah. <laughs> 121 to 100, the final score. And it's worth noting, Luca outscored the Knicks all by himself in that dominant third quarter. But Tim Hardaway Jr. did too. So let's hear from him. It was great, man. This is a shooting gym, man. So me being on the other side of the, of the court for multiple years, knowing when visitors come in here, you know, if you're ever in a shooting slump, wherever, this, you know, you got the juice, you got the, you got the, you got the popcorn, you know, smell going, and, and I don't know, it's just something about playing at the Garden that, that lifts everybody's spirits. So, I mean, it's the mecca for a reason. Yeah, as we said, the lights are a little brighter here, but it wasn't just you, Tim. Everybody, 24 made threes. How were you guys able to get such good looks? Uh, great looks. Uh, I think Coach said it best uh, when Luca does the. The, the, the hard part, we got to do our job and make it easier for him. And that's knocking down a wide open shots when he's uh, collapsing the defense and getting two guys on him. So uh, I, today we, we could say that we did our part. That they did. In the third quarter in particular, the Mavs outscored the Knicks 41 to 15. Luca had 19, Tim had 17. Ooh. What is it, 3D, that led to that outburst out of the locker room? It's real simple. Tim Hardaway Jr., Doran Finney-Smith, uh, Maxi Kleber, and, and Reggie Bullock. Just get into the gym and be ready to catch and shoot. Because you cannot stop Luca one-on-one. -on -one. When he turns the corner, he will share the basketball. You're going to get open shots every night. This is a team, when they make shots early, they play better defense. They are who they are. So with that being said, I challenge these guys. I challenge Jason Kidd. Make practice a little shorter so guys can get up more shots. So when game time comes, they're ready to shoot the ball like they did tonight. We talk about Mass Square Garden, a great place to shoot, but it's how you play each night, and that's the way Luca is. Luca finished with 30. Eight and seven in just Ooh. under 30 mm. minutes. Break down his offensive outing for me. Well, listen, he, he's as gifted offensively as anybody we have in our league. And, and part of it is you can't speed him up. It's his patience. The ability with his size to see over the top of the defense. And in here, he's just the beneficiary of an easy little pass there from Green. But these are the plays that make him unguardable. You don't, he just gets where he wants. He knows how to use his body. He's such a great passer that in the back of your mind, you're always leery of that. And this little hezzy here, and it's just like Moses parting the Red Sea. Like he, and this is where he's most dangerous. When you don't have the ball and you're the best player and you catch it, you're immediately at an advantage. And, and he's just able to take advantage of it against the woeful Knicks defense, particularly in that third quarter. They play great. 24 made threes in that game. They only had 11 turnovers. And DZ made a great point. When they see the ball go through the basket early, those shooters, mm -hmm. that's when they become a really good team. And if you want more Luka, because who doesn't? On Monday, <laughs> the NBA is right here on NBA.